。诶<笑>，大家好啊，欢迎嚟到 A for Advice。想问一问咧，当你哋遇到 Excel 唔识用嘅时候咧，你会点咧？嗱，例如啦，我呢度咧就有张 Excel 嘅 spreadsheet 啦，佢有 salesman 啦，有 department 啦，有金额啦。同埋係唔同嘅日期咁，我咧就想 highlight 一啲 sales 啦，佢係有兩個或者以上嘅 department head 啦，咁就喺二零零二年入面呢，總共佢哋賺嘅金額呢，大過一百萬嘅呢，就唔該佢列出嚟。第一個辦法當然就係可以即刻問人啦，睇下有冇相熟嘅同事啦。咁但係咧第一條問題呢，其實都唔係太簡單嘅，而且呢，即使識嘅同事呢，佢亦都未必有時間答你。就算有時間答你嘅話呢。佢都要同你一齊咧，嘥埋嘥坐喺度一齊做呢，你先可能做得到。咁所以咧，呢個呢，就真係未必 work 啦。然之後呢，你可以問下 Google 啦。哇！但係似乎呢個答案呢都好難揾喎，冇一個係喎。喂 ，Excel 入面有 Copilot 㗎嘛？問完之後，佢直頭霸埋工添，唔喐。好，最後最後。最強勁、最強勁嘅、最強後盾就係 perplexity 啦。咁咁咧就的而且確咧，佢講嘅每一個步驟咧，其實都好 detail、好仔細啊！哇！但係咧，去到呢度咧，又見到好似有啲 script 啦。哇！去到呢一度咧，又好似有啲步驟好詳細啦。然之後咧，誒、哎、突然間又去咗 private table。咁如果有啲朋友佢哋從來未用過咧，誒、哎、死啦！究竟我喺邊度撳翻 private table 出嚟呢？其實咧都係好大問題嘅咁，咁所以呢，如果係有人可以同我一齊做，然之後呢，就一路指導我究竟我應該撳邊個掣啊，我而家揀呢個誒賽勢啱唔啱啊，咁呢，咁就更加好啦。好，咁今次我想睇一睇呢，佢識唔識係。幫我咧係解決一啲 Excel 上面嘅問題啦，咁嚟到咗呢一個 Excel 嘅畫面啦，咁我再次接通佢啦。Hi, are you here? Are you here? Yes, I am here. What... I have a okay, picture. I, the... I have a picture which is full of data, and I would like to convert it into data that fit into my Excel. What should I do? I see. You have a picture of data and want to convert it into a format that fits into your Excel spreadsheet. I、yes. can help with that, but first, okay, you have a blank Excel sheet open. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes.、Uh, how can I input a graphic that can convert into data? So you you want to import a graphic into Excel and convert it to data? Yes. You can try using the okay. This can be done by inserting the picture into Excel and then using data from picture. First, on the ribbon, go to the Insert tab, then click on Picture to insert the image. Once inserted, then click on Data tab, then from Picture. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, please slow down. Help me to do it step by step. I am now in Insert. What can I do? Okay, you are now in the Insert tab in Excel. Now click on Pictures button. You see that? And、uh, you see this one? Yes. Click the Picture button. Uh, what should I do next? Sorry, you should be clicking the Pictures button, not the Shapes button. Do you see it now? You see this one? Yes, that is the correct button. Now click on the pictures button. But I cannot see. I cannot find the picture that I want to upload. Ah, it seems like you clicked on the icons button, not the pictures button. Look、I、to the left of icons. Do you see the button that says pictures? Oh, you see this one? Yes. Click on that one. I see. And then what should I choose? Okay. Now choose the first option. Place in cells, which is on the top. Okay. And then what is the next step? Now it will ask you to select the photo you want to insert. It will now prompt you to select the image file you want to upload. Choose the file and then click Insert or Open. But I cannot find the one I want.、Uh, my one is、uh, put it in the document. Okay, But... so it seems you are having trouble finding the image you insert wanted. Yes. Is it saved on your? Okay, the file selection window should have opened after you clicked the Place in Cells button. Is it possible that the window might be hidden behind the Excel window? Or another application you have open? Ah,、uh, the picture is actually in the seminar folder, figure in graphics here. What should I do next? Okay, it sounds like the picture you want to insert is not a normal image file, but instead is a screenshot. In that case, close out of this window. Then on the ribbon, go to the data tab. Then、so、this is select the here, from、right? picture. Okay, you've clicked on the data tab. Now click the button that says from picture. Ah,、uh, where is it located? It's on the left side of the ribbon in the Get and Transform Data group. Do you see it now? Yeah, I see it. Ah, yeah, I、Great. can get now it. Now click. On... Okay, now that you've clicked that button, a drop-down menu has appeared. Click the option that says From Picture. Okay, and then what should I do? Okay, now a side panel has appeared. It is processing the image that you uploaded. Wait for it to complete, and then you can insert the data. Oh, I see. Thank you. 
Uh, I can do it now. Very great. And uh, okay, there is another one here. I would like to transform it into private table. What should I do? Okay, so you have imported the data from the picture and you'd like to transform it into a different table. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, in the private, private table, which is an accounting table. Okay, so you want to transfer the data from the current table to the previous accounting table. To do that, you can copy the data from one sheet to the next. Are you familiar with copying and pasting? Uh, maybe my pronunciation is no good. I want to uh, make this one into this tab is called Commission Master. I want to change it into private table, P I V O T table. Oh, come to this one, he just can't remember what I'm saying. So, maybe I should write private table, private table. That one is not very good. Okay, so I'm going to look at the word private table. Private table. Okay, good. So, now I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. Perfect. Can you help me talk? Can you tell me how to convert it into a pivot table? Sure, I can help you with that. You want to convert the data you have in your sheet into a pivot table? Yes. Okay, to create a pivot table, first, select the entire data range that you want to include in your pivot table. Once you have selected your data, you will need to navigate to the insert tab in the Excel ribbon and then in the tables group, click on the pivot table button. Do you see that option? Where is it located? It's located at the top of the screen, right next to the Home tab. It's in the row where you see Tint I.O., which translates to File, Henshio, which is Edit, and so on. The tab to the right of Coin Xia is the A New tab, which means Insert in English. Click on that tab, and then you should see the Pivot Table option in the left of the ribbon bar in a box titled Hyokai, or Tables. Please tell me what to do. I would like to know about the salesman and the contract sum total. Are you here? Yes, I am here. How can I help you? Can you tell me what should I do if I would like to know about the relationship between the salesman and the contract sum? Okay. To analyze the relationship between the salesman and the contract sum, you could use the salesman field and the contract underscore sum field in the data. Would you like to create a pivot table or chart to visualize that relationship? Yes. Okay. It looks like you've selected the salesman field to use in your analysis. Are you going to add it to the row area or the column area of the pivot table? I would like to have your suggestion. Okay. Generally, when you want to see the contract sum broken down by salesman, it's best to put salesman in the row area, a BT. Then you can add contract sum to the values area. Would you like to proceed with that? Okay. Is it doing this like this one? Yes. It looks like you've moved the salesman field to the rows and selected the contract underscore sum field. To see the sum of all the contracts for each salesman, you'll want to move contract underscore sum to the values area. Would you like to do that? Uh, I would like to know, uh, since different salesmen are under different department heads, how can I, where can I add the department head? I see. To view the contract sum per salesman, grouped by department head, you can drag the department head field into the rows area above salesman. This will create a hierarchical view in the pivot table with the department heads as the main categories and salesmen under each head. Would you like to try that? Uh, I'm doing it now, but uh, I would like to know about the contract sum of each department, but broken down into different salesmen. What should I do? Okay, okay. I understand. To see the total contract sum for each department while still breaking it down by salesman, you should move the salesman field below department head in the rows area. This will keep your data structured by department and then by salesman. Then you should go to the values area and make sure it is summing the contract sum. Would you like to try this? Yes. What should I do next? All right. Now you should drag the salesman field below department head in the rows area. So you have the department heads as the primary breakdown and the salesman underneath that. Once that's done, you'll be able to view the contract sum for each salesman under each department head. Would you like to try that now? Uh, so at this moment, I'm doing it absolutely correctly, right? Okay, how can I produce a chart showing the relationship of the total contract sum and the department head? It appears that you currently have department head in the filters area and salesman in the rows area with the contract sum as values. To see each department with a sum, you need to move department head from the filters area to the rows area, then have salesman below it. Would you like me to help you with those steps? Yes. Okay. okay. It looks like you've selected department head in the fields list. 
you need to click and drag it from the filters area into the rows area, above where it says salesman. Then you will have the pivot table organized by department head and then by salesman with contract sums listed to the side. Are you able to do that? Yes. Can you tell me how to do a bar chart? Sure. To create a bar chart from this pivot table, select any cell within the pivot table. Then look for the insert tab on the ribbon and select chart or column chart. From there, you can pick your desired chart and customize it to your liking. Would you like to go ahead and try that? Okay, it looks like you've opened the chart menu and are choosing from several bar chart options. Are you planning to select the first one? Yes. Is it right now I'm correct? Is it correct? Yes, you have now created a bar chart from the data and it appears to be correct. Is there anything else you would like to do with this chart? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, no more. You are very helpful. Glad I could assist you. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Google Google